Hi, in this video, I'll walk you through how to set up your Access Studio software real-time data inside of Unreal Engine using our Neuron Lifelink plugin. So let's get started with opening Access Studio. We're going to jump into the sample project that is included with our Access Studio software. Here, we're going to find some mocap files that we can work with. We're going to select one for our Perception on 3 hardware. We'll go ahead and open that and just make sure that it plays back correctly. You can also use one of our PN Studio files. Let's now get started with streaming the data out from Access Studio. So let's go into the main menu, click on settings. Here in the advanced settings, we want to turn off the joint space. This is for the Unreal Engine compatibility only. Then we're gonna go into the BVH broadcasting. In the following window here, we have options to stream real-time data from a connected hardware using the capture window, or we can stream playback data real-time through our BVH edit window here, which is what we're gonna be using for this example. So let's go ahead and enable this option here. And now we have a couple options we can select. We can now update the skeleton here. We're gonna jump from Access Studio Skeleton to the Unreal Engine. This will allow us to stream data directly onto the Unreal Engine mannequin that we're gonna be using. If your character is set up with a traditional T-Pose and not with an Unreal Engine A-Pose, you wanna select the Access Studio Thumb Open Skeleton. Then we're gonna disable displacement and we're gonna select TCP. And we're going to leave the local IP address to the local host here for this example. If we were streaming this data to another computer, we would use the IP address from our network card. So we won't be doing that for this example, but that's if you need to in the future. So we'll select the local host, leave the port number as 7003, and then click on OK. Now we can play back this data, and then we can put the data on loop. Let's locate our Neuron Livelink plugin, opening up the Epic Games Launcher. If you go into our library, you can see that we have no plugins installed here. So let's go into the marketplace. And let's search for Neuron Live Link. We can click on Install to Engine, select our version, and click on Install. Now let's open the Unreal Engine editor. So we'll create a new project here, click on Games, Next, select a blank template, and we're not going to include any starter content. We're going to rename this project as PN Neuron Live Link. Create a project. Once we have that open, we'll see at the bottom right hand side we have new plugins that are available. We'll click on Manage Plugins. We're going to select cold plugins and we'll see our new Neuron Live Link plugin is available. We'll click on enabled and it's going to ask us to restart the editor. So we'll click on OK, restart now. Once it's been restarted, we'll click on cold plugins again and we'll see that now it's been enabled. So we'll go ahead and close this window. And in order to locate the Live Link, you'll see that it's currently at the bottom right hand side. We'll go ahead and close this. If the window is not open, you'll need to go into the windows, select on Live Link, and you'll see the window will now populate on the bottom right hand side. We can confirm that the Neuron Live link is working by selecting on source and we'll see that Access Neuron Live is currently available. Now, in order to set up the data to be received from our Access Studio, we need to go down the drop down list here. First thing we need to do is a uh, local address here is only available for UDP. Since we're not using UDP, we'll need to disable this. So we'll deselect this one. If you're using UDP, make sure it's enabled. And under the remote address, we're going to leave the local host 127.0.0.1 with the port number 7003. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. Under the subject name, we have an actor named Alex. This is the same name we have for our avatar inside of Access Studio. That confirms the data was successfully connected inside of our Unreal Editor. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to use a Unreal Engine mannequin. In order to do so, we need to go to Add Import, select on On Feature and or Content Packed. We're going to go into the blueprint feature and select the third person. Here, we're going to find our Unreal Engine mannequin, add this to our project. We can close this window. And if we go back into the content window here, we'll see that we have new folders. We'll look at, at the mannequin folder here, click on character mesh. And we'll see that we have skeleton data and we have the mesh data from our characters here. So in order to get started, we need to create a animation blueprint. So we'll go ahead and click, right click on this character skeleton and create, select on create and anim blueprints. We'll leave the name as default. As you can see, we have anim blueprint as a suffix there. We'll double click here. And we can see that we have the character here with our 
graph at the right hand side. We'll dock this into our editor so we can move back and forth. Now we need to introduce our plugin here. We need to receive data from our Access Studio. And to do so, we need to add our Live Link Pose node. Here, we're going to make a connection from our node over to the output pose of the character. And if we click on Compile, right now nothing is happening, but there is data being transferred from one node to the next. Now we need to set up the actor from our live link. We see on our drop down menu we have Alex available, so we'll click on that. Click on Compile one more time, and you'll see that we only have the head movement right now. And this is because we need to select the appropriate, correct retargeting asset. Under the live link pose here, and under the details window, you'll see in the retarget options here, we have live link remap asset. If we click this drop down, we have a selection of different retarget assets. You see that we have support for DAS 3D characters, Mixamo characters, OpenXR hand and tracking characters, of course, Unreal Engine Mannequin, and also our access software skeleton data. So we'll select the Unreal Engine Mannequin. And once that's complete, we'll go ahead and click on Compile. Once we click on Compile, we see that our character is now receiving data from Access Studio. So we'll go ahead and make sure Compile and click on Save. We can now jump into the editor again. So now we need to set up this data inside of a Blueprint class. So we'll go ahead and right click on this content browser, select Blueprint class, select Actor. And here we're going to rename this character as PN, New Blueprint. We'll click there and then we're going to double click on this Blueprint class so that we can start setting up our data. So here we need to add components. Let's get started by adding a skeleton mesh. If you look at the details panel, let's set up the mesh and the animation class. Under the mesh here, we're going to select on none. We're going to select SK mannequin. You see that our character has now been populated in front of us. Let's get rid of that sphere. We're going to click and drag the character on top of the default scene. We get rid of that sphere in the middle. And now we need to set up the animation class. In the drop down menu, select UE4 mannequin skeleton and a blueprint. Here, now you can see that the data is being transferred over to our character in real time. So let's click on compile save. Now we need to add a live link component. So we'll click on live link skeleton animation. So once that's done, click on compile one more time, click on save. We'll go back into the Unreal Engine editor. And now we can import this character inside of our scene and our data is being played back real time. And that's it for this video. See you next time.